Miss Jamie here from Bud Warner Memorial Library with another Little Crafters at Home story time to share with you. This week we will be reading about crabs. So our craft this week is C for crab. So come on into the library, pick up everything you need to make this little crab. Who's looking at me? Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right. But first, let's get started with our hello song. Are we ready? My hands say hello. My hands say hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. Good. And what about our tongue? My tongue says hello. My tongue says hello. Every time I see my friends, my tongue says hello. <laughs> and what about our shoulders? My shoulders say hello. My shoulders say hello. Every time I see my friends, my shoulders say hello. <laughs> Great job. All right, let's do our first crab story. Clumsy crab. Uh-oh. Clumsy. Does that mean he's maybe not that smooth? He drops things and he falls. Let's see. Nipper the crab hated his huge, clumsy claws. Snip, snip, clip, clap. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. They are pretty big, huh? Hmm. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus. Could you do octopus arms? Tentacles, good job. And jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and the fish. I see, there's a turtle fin. Oh, those are pretty cool too. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Do you see the bubble? There it is. What a fun game, catch that bubble. Oh, his clumsy claws burst the bubble. They couldn't play that game anymore. So they played tag instead. Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoa! Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until... Oof! He was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek instead. Nipper climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. Oh, that's pretty good. It was the perfect hiding place until, uh-oh, smash! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch, he cried, help! Jellyfish picked up the pieces of shell. <sighs> if I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything. And I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide and you can find us. These are good friends. Nipper counted to 10, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found, what do we think? Turtle! He shuffled under the shells and found jellyfish. And he searched up and down, in and out and all around the rocks but he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Hmm, do you see any octopus tentacles? What do we think? Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Help! Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just kept getting tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. 
What do you think it should do? <gasps> Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping, clipping and clapping. <gasps> his claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. <gasps> wow! Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. He saved his friend with his big claws. And there they are having fun. Oh, I'm glad he learned to love his claws what made him special and they're very helpful tools. All right, my friends, let's get our crab claws ready. I have a little song for us to sing. Are we ready? Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab pinch and snap all day. Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab pinch and snap all day. With a pinch, pinch here and a snap, snap there. Here a pinch, there a snap, Everywhere a pinch snap, Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab pinch and snap all day. <gasps> they tickle. <laughs> Good job, crabs. All right, we're ready for our next crab story. Don't worry, little crab. He is a little crab. And he looks a little worried. Hmm. Let's find out what he's a little worried about and see if we can help him. Little crab and very big crab live in a tiny tide pool. Tide pools show up between rocks by the ocean. There's all sorts of fun things that live in there. Hey, which one is the big crab? That one. And which one is our little crab? There he is. He's so small. Today, they're off to the ocean. This is going to be so great, says Little Crab. They go tick -a -tick, tick -a -tick, tick -a tick over the rocks, splish, splash, splish, splash, across the pools, and squelch, squelch, squelch through the slimy, slippery seaweed. I can go anywhere, says Little Crab. Finally, they get to the very edge. Here we are, says Very Big Crab. The ocean, oh, says Little Crab. Oh my, it's very big, isn't it? Uh, maybe it's better if we don't go in the ocean, says Little Crab. Don't worry, says Very Big Crab. It will be okay. But the waves are getting bigger. Look, a huge wave. Hold tight. Here it comes. Is it going to splash them? Whoosh. Um, I think we've had enough of the ocean now, says Little Crab. Let's go a little bit farther, says Very Big Crab. I think you'll like it. But the waves keep getting bigger and bigger. Another one. Hold tight. Here it comes. Whoosh. Oh, that one wasn't even bigger, Splash. Oh, I don't think I like the ocean, says Little Crab. Oh, maybe we should go home. Don't worry, Little Crab, says Very Big Crab. I'm here. Come. Just a few more steps. Would Crab be brave? Will he try it? What do you think? Let's see. Little Crab takes a step, then another, until Little Crab toes about to touch the ocean. I'm in the ocean, says Little Crab. But then, 
they see an enormous wave. <gasps> They're looking way up. <gasps> it's a big one. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Ready? Asks very big crab. Little crab nods. They take a deep breath. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoosh. Down, down, down they go. Look, little crab. Everyone comes to say hello. My name is Little Crab, says Little Crab. Wow, look at what they are getting to see under the ocean. I see fish and coral. I'm having a hard time turning these pages. They eat delicious seaweed. They run all across the sea floor and they have a giant game of hide and seek. Oh, that looks like fun. Oh, what a party they're having. I love the ocean, says little crab. Yes, but it's time to go home now, says very big crab. <laughs> Look, he even found some other crab friends. That's nice. Time to go home. Oh my goodness, sticky pages. What? I really don't want to go home, says little crab. Well, how about we go home the long way, says Very Big Crab. Can we go up this way, asks Little Crab. I get to see more beautiful coral. I think you can go anywhere, says Very Big Crab. And off they went. And he can go anywhere, even if it's a little scary. He stuck with it and he was so brave and he loved going in the ocean. So glad he stuck with it. And there he is, cute little crab. All right, my friends, I hope you liked these stories as much as I did and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.